pick it Sunday? 49ers. Hey, good choice. You're gonna watch the pregame show? They're supposed to show clips from the previous Super Bowls. I won't be able to see the game at all. Why the hell not? I got a ticket to the ballet. Ballet? You're pulling my leg. No, I'm serious. I'm gonna see the Nutcracks. New York City Ballet production opens tomorrow. And you're going? Why the hell not? Oh, I get it. Your wife, she's twisting your arm, right? I ain't married. You mean you're gonna miss the Super Bowl game over some ballet? Look, Jerry, I know what you're thinking, so get it out of your head. I happen to like the ballet. Oh, now I understand. Now I get it. <clears throat> you like to watch those chippies twirl around their stoops. I understand. You don't understand nothing. The fact is, I like the discipline of it. And this is Chikoski, so it's melodious. Another fact is my favorite dancer is a male. Get that look off your face before I belt you one. I'm not making fun of you or nothing, but geez, you're a gung-ho American guy. I bet you, for Christ's sake. Look, I'm I ain't got to tell you nothing. I like the ballet, and that's all you need to know. Super Bowl. You know, you'd be surprised how much ballet has in common with sports. Football, baseball. In fact, it may be more athletic. Yeah. How come I never seen anybody get carried off stage because they took a real hard shot? And nobody's bones ever got broken dancing in no nut. Are you kidding? I once broke my toe doing a simple plie. Don't tell me you danced too. Well, not in years. Yeah? But I was pretty good. I mean, I had my moments. Nothing spectacular. Hey, look, uh, let me show you my five positions. The what? Five positions. This is one, and this is two, and this is three, and this is four, and this is five. Come on, try it. It's good for your body. No, I don't think so. Oh, come on, be a man about it. A man about it? I'll show you. How's this? Not bad, not bad. Now, you do this every day with a few corsets, and you'll be hauling more garbage with less grain. Now, arch your back a little. How's that? Not bad. But you can also do it like me. I don't understand. Well, when I haul garbage into the truck, I usually do it in a three-quarter time. Three-quarter time? Let me show you. Uh, pick up that can over there. That one? Yeah. Now, when I count one, two, three, lead with your left and follow through with your right, okay? And just let the can lead you. All right, okay. let's go. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's great, bend them knees. <coughs> How does that feel? Same as usual. Well, I suggest you get a little bit more practice and start listening to some serious composers. You mean my Bach and them guys? Yeah. I'm curious, how'd you get hooked up with all this anyway? It all started when I was 18 just before this Korean thing. Yeah. I was still working stateside, making ends meet, working in the Navy Department. Then I met this girl. Mimi is her name. No kidding. Yeah, she was working a second-rate job with a third-rate pay like the rest of us. <laughs> I can still picture her now, working in that dirty stock room, hair pushed back in a barn wearing a pink dress, Anyway, we went out to lunch one day, and she told me her passion was ballet. And I guess you could figure out the rest. But let me tell you, when she danced, she was like a willow. And thinking about it now, <laughs> I feel like I'm 18 again. What happened? Huh? What happened to her? Oh, she let... Some little clerk stick his dirty pecker in her, and no one ever saw him. You know, I got something to admit to you. What? Well, when I was a kid, I used to play the oboe. And my mom, rest her soul, she used to pay for my lessons when there was hardly any money for food. In fact, I still got the damn thing. No kid. Yeah. What do you say, you want to get something going for the sanitation talent show next month? I mean, you could still dance, can't you? I don't know. I'm about 30, 40 pounds overweight. I don't think I can even fit in my leotard no more. My elbow plane certainly ain't what it was either. What do you say? You want to give it a crack? 
I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. It sounds sort of tempting. I mean, you don't think we look too ridiculous, do you? I mean, if we fell on our ass, them guys would never let us live it down. Nah, we got a whole month of practice. How's your talk? It's better now. I tell you what, tomorrow I'll bring my ballet slippers and my leotards. And I'll bring my elbow. But what do we do then? Well, I got to score the nutcrackers at home. Can you sight read? I haven't in 35 years, but I'll practice tonight. Okay, okay. Why is it I can't find anything in this house? Sometimes I swear. What's wrong? I had something, something personal of mine hidden in the back of that closet upstairs. Now I can't find a damn thing. You mean your elbow? How the hell did you know what it was? I looked at it before I gave it away. You what? That was my elbow. Who the hell did you give that to? Lori Miller's daughter. She wanted My mother gave me that elbow when I was 13 years old. All it was doing was being buried under a ton of clothes. Shut up and give me Lori Miller's telephone number. You can't ask for it back. I gave it to her almost two years ago. Besides, the little girl's crippled. Let her get her own elbow. That was mine. But she's so fond of it. I don't care. What's so special about it all of a sudden? Me and Gus need it. You remember Gus. The veteran. Yeah, me and him are going to put on it, ballet. Let's just say we got plans for it. Now, can I have that telephone number? What are you going to say to Lori? What's there to say? Lori, this is Jerry. Can I have my elbow back? What's there to that? And what if she says no? You know, you're right. I didn't think of that. And I forgot, she, she turned me down when I wanted to borrow her station wagon for Dad's funeral. You mean when you wanted to put his casket in the back of her car? Of course she said no. She wasn't about to let the inside of her car get ruined. Yeah, but I even told her I was willing to tie it to the top of the roof. I mean, for Christ's sakes, it was my dad. Why couldn't you just hire a rehearse like everybody else? Hey, that's my business. Hello? It's for you, Gus. Gus, I got bad news. My wife gave away my damn elbow. I don't know. Some kid. I know. This leaves us in a bad way. I was going to ask for it back, but the woman's a damn troublemaker. You know, I was thinking, maybe... Maybe we break into our house tonight and we get it. Oh, don't worry, I'm good at that. How's things on your end? Did you find your leave your thoughts? Oh, no. Mortz. All right, don't worry about it. We'll work something out later, okay? Talk to you later. I heard you. You're thinking of breaking into Lori Miller's house. I didn't say that. I heard you. You're hearing things. Hey, can I have my supper? I'm gonna go downstairs and get some tools. By the way, Louis Miller's house is the last one on the block. That's right. Hey, do they have a dog? No. They always keep that door locked. What are you getting at? Nothing. I'm just curious. Oh, no, you're not. I know that look. What look? That scheme is look like the one you had when you wanted to move Mr. Kalaki's furniture in the back of your garbage truck for $300. I told you that was 50 bucks cheaper than what the professional movers wanted. But you could have lost your job. I was going to do it during my lunch hour. Anyway, get it out of your mind. Get what out of my mind? You're thinking of stealing that silly instrument. Why not? It's mine. The next thing you know, you'll be in jail and out of work and we'll have no income. And then I'll have to take your laundry and be a welfare. And then, and then I'll have to divorce you and file for alimony. Only there won't be none because you'll be in the penitentiary. Shut up, Remy. You're bad. Just don't do what you're thinking of doing. All right, I won't. Now can I have my supper?
Gus, me again. It's off, pal. Yeah, my wife caught wind of it and said no go. I don't know. All I, I, anyway, I told you, some little girl. All I know is we can't break in. Why not? My wife will kill me. Oh yeah? I didn't know you owned a gun. Oh yeah, that's right, from the war. Then what do we do? Maybe that might work. Ah, they won't cause us no trouble, especially if there's a gun involved. And besides, I told you, the little kid's in a wheelchair. Yeah, I got a couple of ski masks. But look, hey, I don't want no trouble, you hear? Nobody gets hurt, right? I don't want no goddamn Iran situation here. Career. Looks more like civil war. Are you kidding? She is beautiful. I wonder if it still works. We don't need it to work. All we want to do is scare the hell out of them. Yeah, it sure. Uh, you got any three in one all? No. Here's your ski mess. Let's go. Hold on now. We ain't went over the battle plan yet. What plan? We just go in and say hand it over and leave. That just what we don't do. The next thing you know, the cops will be swarming all over here looking for you. All right, what's your plan? Well, if the mission is going to be successful, we got to be disciplined and cold-blooded. Good plan, let's go. Hey, that's not the plan. That's just a pep talk. Here's the plan. First, we bust in the place, and I'll keep the gun on them, and I'll do the talking. We don't want them to recognize your voice. You're talking burglary. Well, I tell you what. You take the TV, and I'll take the VCR. I told you, we're not stealing nothing. Besides, how can you automatically get the VCR? I told you we weren't really going to take it. I don't trust you. God damn it, Jerry, this is my idea. Now look, you're going to either do it my way, whether you like it or not. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be doing this. Well, who's got the gun? I don't care. How would you like me to burglarize one of your neighbors without your permission? I'm but telling you, this is not a burglary. This is just a assault to get back your oboe. The TV and VCR, them are just spoil of victories. There ain't no spoil, so stop acting like the boss. Well, I'm acting like the boss because I am the boss. Face it, Jerry. When it comes to the assault and ballet, I got all the know-hows. So as far as I'm concerned, it is settled. Unless you want to sell it one-on-one. -on -one. So now you're the boss of the ballet, huh? Look, Jerry, ballet takes compassion and sensitivity. And personally, I don't think you got enough of them qualities to be boss. I mean, you can't even give a pal a break. All right, take the damn VCR. I will. And after this, our partnership is dead. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's go. Next year, I'll put on my own fucking ballet. Don't forget your ski mask. And I'll hire me broads to dance in that one. You better turn out the lights. And I'll even hire me an orchestra. Yeah, I sure hope that lady got your oboe. Yeah, me too.
Because I didn't go. Are you sick? No, I'm not sick. Then how come you didn't go? Because. Well, at least you'll be here when the police come. Police? What police? They're questioning all the neighbors about the siege on Laurie Miller's house last night. Why the hell are they questioning us? I guess they're looking for leads. It's funny, too, because you and me was talking about Laurie Miller last night. Yeah, funny. According to Mrs. George next door, two goons try to take Laurie Miller's TV, stereo, jewelry, money, and VCR. But instead, all they got away with, and you'll never believe it, your oboe. How about that? I mean, it's just so ironic, don't you think? And she's lucky her boyfriend was coming home from work just as the animals were leaving. Did you know Lori Miller's boyfriend was a policeman? No. Nobody told me. How'd this blood get on the rug? I cut myself shaving this morning. Shaving? Oh, it's more like you slit your throat. Anyway, back to last night. Lori Miller's boyfriend surprised the animals just as they were going out the back door and shot one in the leg. Well, he won't be robbing nobody's house no more. Hmm. What? Nothing. Listen, you got those bandages for my razor cut? I'll see. Uh, how much do you need? Oh, about three or four feet. What's that under your chair? What, this? Yeah. Huh? Is that your elbow? Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Somebody found it out on the lawn and they turned it over to me. Oh, well, we better return it to Lori Miller. The police will probably need it for fingerprints. The hell with that. I'm keeping it. Besides, the police ain't gonna find nobody's prints on this except mine. But that's withholding evidence. No, let's find this keepers. What do you want Gus needed for? That's so important. And I guess you're right. We don't really need it anymore. After what happened to poor Gus. What happened to Gus? Nothing. But you know something? You're right. I should return this to Lori Miller. She does have something coming. I'll get the sponge and bandages. I told you to stay in the basement. I thought she'd never leave. I can't take it no more, Jerry. I got to get out of here. Yeah, the cops will be here any minute. Cops, what are we going to do? What are you asking me for? You're the boss. Oh. What's that you got wrapped around your leg? It's a ski mask. Oh, no, not my good ski mask. Now look at it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. Forget it now. What's wrong? It's the leg, man. It's all green. Don't worry about it. It's just an infection. <clears throat> hey, get the dough, man. It's probably the cops. Hey, cool it, man. The cops ain't interested in a small-time caper like this. Get the dough. You're right. It's probably the newspaper, boy. Who is it? Police! 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 Just tell them your wife's not dressed. Come back later. Hey, there. Can you come back later? My wife's not dressed yet. Okay, we'll be back in ten minutes. Tell them to make it later than that. Can you make it later than that? Sure. Eleven minutes. Cops are gone. We got just enough time to get out of here. I'll get a suitcase. You start the car. How much money should we take? Toothbrush. We're gonna need that. What size shorts you wear? Where's Irma with those bandages? Holy Jerry, I'm I'm thinking. Tell me in the car, quick. Get the elbow. Just stop and listen. What for? Look, if one of us give up, we could get the other one off the hook. Are you crazy? I ain't going to jail. Where's that gun? What you gonna do? Fight it out with the cops? Hide out in jail? Face it, Jerry, one of us got to give up. Besides, I wear boxer shorts. All right, which one is going to give up? I don't know yet. I think it's pretty obvious, don't you? What's obvious? I mean, you're shot. They automatically know that you're one of them. Yeah, but the cops are knocking on your door. That Miller woman probably already done turned you in. Gus, you said one of us has got to take the rap. Well, even if I did give up, 
You think they wouldn't know that you was involved? I mean, they'll find out that we work together. Hey, I just deny we're friends, that's all. Well, what about that old boy? It's right here in your living room. How are you gonna explain that? Tell him you stole and you brought it here. But what about me being in your house? Hey, I tell him you hold me and my wife hostage. You still got the gun, right? Right here. So, what's the problem? Cheer up. You still got nine minutes of freedom. Enjoy him. I never thought it would end like this. It ain't the end, pal. This could be a beginning for you. I hear nowadays they teach you how to operate a computer in the clink. And in the year 2000, all civil service jobs will require that kind of training. And you'll get out just in the right time. In the year 2000. That's right. Sure, and you'll still be in your prime. But I suggest you take care of any last minute business and details, you know. What business? Hey, maybe there's somebody you want to call, somebody you want to talk to. How about that Mimi dame you knew way back when? I bet you she'll get a big kick out of hearing from you. Oh, sure. And I say, Mimi, this is Gus. How about us getting together again? You're free? Good. Then let's make a date for tomorrow night, 20 years from now. Sometimes, Jerry, you sound so stupid. I mean, you got any more bright ideas for my last nine minutes? Eight minutes. How about a home-cooked meal? What you got? We had chicken for supper last night. We still got some left over. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Let me get out of the freezer. You mean the fridge there, don't you? No. My wife keeps all cooked food in the freezer. Well, how's it going to throw out in time for me to eat? In a microwave. Well, that's still going to take two or three minutes. I mean, I don't like to be rushed when I eat. I mean, ain't you got anything else? We got a lot of things. What do you want? What about some eggs? Frozen. You keep eggs frozen? My wife, she likes to keep all dairy products frozen. You know, for freshness. Well, what about some soup? Frozen. Soup is not a dairy product. I know. You got to talk to my wife, though. Pie? Frozen. Peanut butter? Frozen. Cereal? Frozen. frozen. Well, ain't you got anything in this place that I can eat? Hey, I got it. What about some ice cream? We don't have any. There's no room for it. Well, I guess we might as well forget about food. Hey, Gus, just put your mind to it. I'm sure there's something you want. Remember, this is the last chance you got before you go yeah, nowhere. Yeah, yeah. I got it. What is it? I know what I want. Where's your wife? Upstairs. Why? Because I asked. That's why. I don't get it. Don't you? Like, we're pals, right? Right. And pals do favors for each other, right? What are you driving at? Like me going to jail for you? Jerry, get your wife. I want to talk to her a few minutes. What are you, out of your skull? Look, I'm asking you nicely, Jerry. Get your wife. Oh, no, you don't, Gus. I'm not going to let you. What do you mean you're not going to let me? Take it easy. Take it easy. Relax. Shut up and take sit it easy. down. Just relax. Just take and it just easy. And just remember, I've got your wife with me. Gus, take it easy. Gus! You only got seven minutes till the police get here. Seven minutes is all I need. <laughs> Gus, oh my God! Jerry, practice your oboe. We have hardly any money for food.
Jerry, practice your oboe. 